Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a monochromatic makeup tutorial. Um, I have already done like my foundation, my concealer, my powder, um, I filled in my brows, I primed my eyes. I just figured for the sake of time, for the interest of saving some time um, for you watching the video that I would do those ahead of time. So everything that I'm going to be using today is affordable um, drugstore or like Makeup Geek or ColourPop. So affordable products and uh, the monochromatic look is going to be using peach or coral. Uh, maybe not something that you normally think of in the fall time, but I've been really digging it and I saw this article I don't even remember where I saw it, but it was saying that that was like a big thing right now um, Celebrities are wearing like a lot of um, Monochromatic like peach looks. so I was like, you know what the heck so um, The lip I'm gonna be using which I just want to put it on now my lips feel really dry This is ColourPop's lippy sticks in the shade Frida, which is satin and I think Frida was in collaboration with Coffee Break with Danny, if I'm not mistaken. And so this is like a peachy nude. All right. So Frida, there we go. So I did use a little bit of bronzer before I started this. I just wanted to speed this up. So um, for blush, I'm gonna be using the Milani um, baked powder blush and this is in the shade Coralina. You could also use Luminoso. I know Luminoso kind of changes its color um, on different skin tones like it might look more peach on you and somebody else it might look more nude or more pink. Um, but this Coralina is definitely a marbleized coral color and with a light hand it can be quite pretty. So I'm um, also going to try to use affordable brushes. This is the e.l.f. blush brush. This blush does have glitter but it doesn't like look glittery throughout the day like when I swatch it which I will do there's some glitter in it but it's very subtle so if you're not into shimmery blushes you probably won't like it but if you're okay with shimmery but not glitter um, don't let the uh, appearance of it in the pan scare you but this blush is very pigmented so the elf blush brush is perfect it is not too dense and it is smaller so I'm not going to get like my whole cheek you know it allows me to really apply it in where I want it so I'm starting right here at the juiciest part of my cheek and then moving backwards for a bronzer I'm using the Wet n Wild color icon bronzer this is in Ticket to Brazil I seriously use this bronzer almost every single day so like every day that I wear makeup I wear this bronzer pretty much um, if you have fair skin, you will love this bronzer um, because it isn't very dark. It's very wearable. And it, it does have a slight, like a satin finish, but it's not glittery or shimmery really. It just looks more natural than a matte would. Like it's not contouring, it's a warm color, but I just think it looks so pretty. The brush I'm using is the e.l.f. Angled Blush Brush. Another $3 brush. Does the job. So I just bronzed up like the edges of the face, the shape of a three. And then I took what was left on the brush and just went down the sides of my nose. It's not too warm. I can kind of make my nose look a little bit thinner by adding some darkness there. Then, for highlighter, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Powder Glow Illuminator Blush and Highlight. They call it Blush and Highlight. This is in shade W102 Golden. And it has like four shades. I would never use this as a blush. Actually, I don't even want to use it as a highlighter. <laughs> it has kind of a bit of um, glitter to it. And you might not notice right off the bat, but sometimes you'll catch it like in the sunlight. Like in the car, I'll see myself and I'm like, whoa, I'm glittery. Um, but there is a shade in here that's more peachy than the rest. So that's the highlight shade I'm going to be using today. I'm going to concentrate on that one. I'm just taking it up right at the top of the brow in like a C at the top of the cheekbone the brush and just use it on the tip of my nose, down the center of the nose, Cupid's bow. Just kind of an overall highlighted effect. Um, if you've been watching my pregnancy updates, um, this is the first video I'm filming since I announced my pregnancy by the way. Um, if you've been watching those then you know that the reason that I am not able to style my hair, my scalp is still driving me crazy. Um, this part is itchy and this part is like numb. And so I've been advised not to use heat or product on my hair, so I've just been washing and wearing it. The only product I'm putting in it is the 
um, steroid spray that I'm supposed to, which makes it look kind of greasy. Like right after I get out of the shower, I have to use it twice a day. And then, yeah. So if my hair bothers you in videos, nobody's commented anything mean or anything, but I just wanted to let you know that that is why I'm not styling my hair. I used to style it for videos all the time. And I don't even like having it tied back, like having it pulled, pulled tightly. Oh, no. <laughs> I can do like a side braid. So I've done that several times because it's not tight. You know, I can just touch this part of my hair. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the eyes. I'll be using Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And one of my favorite, maybe my absolute favorite Makeup Geek foiled shadow is called In the Spotlight. And I have actually hit pan. It's right here. It's like a foiled peachy shade. That's going to be like the star on the lid. But before we do that, I'm using a NYX um, eyeshadow blending brush. It's just a fluffy brush from NYX. And I'm going to use um, Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie and Creme Brulee. Peach Smoothie, Creme Brulee. They're just like a light peach and a slightly darker peach. And I will use those just above the crease with the Peach Smoothie with this blending brush. It doesn't have to be precise as it is a shade very close to my skin tone. And then when I'm finished with that shade, I go in right below that with Creme Brulee. And that one will show up on my skin tone, so I have to be a bit more precise. Um, and creme brulee I put in the crease and barely above it if I need to, but I try to stick it basically right in the crease. It's just a bit darker than peach smoothie. And then I'm going to set this brush aside because I will be coming back to it for blending purposes in a minute. But I like to just have it around, ready to go, and all it has on it is remnants of peach smoothie and creme brulee in case I need it. Now, I found my favorite way to apply the Makeup Geek Foiled Shadows is with my fingers. Um, I have used like different brushes, stubby brushes, you know, setting spray on them to get them to be very foiled. And honestly, I just think that the best way is with my fingers. So you can see, I'm going to zoom you in, how beautiful that is. It's not that peachy, but I'm keeping it concentrated right on the lid. In your face. This actually makes a gorgeous highlight too. I should have used it as a highlighter. Didn't think about it. Um, if you don't have this shade, you could also use um, L'Oreal's Amber Rush. And you could also, it might be a little bit darker, but I'm going to go in with more peaches, so it probably would come out with a similar look. You could also use the Too Faced uh, Peach Palette, um, but I don't have that because I didn't want to fight to get it. Um, but if you have the Too Faced uh, Peach Palette, you could also use that. And then I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek's Mango Tango, which is the peach shade right next to it. And I am using the e.l.f. Crease Brush. It is a crease brush with Mango Tango. I'm going to concentrate that on the outer part of the eye. And the good thing about doing a monochromatic look is you can multi-purpose products. So I could have used that lid shade as my highlighter. I can use Mango Tango, the eyeshadow, as my blush, or I could have used my blush on my eyes. The reason I'm not using um, the blush from Milani on my eyes is because that one had the shimmer in it. And Mango Tango is more of a matte or a satin matte. And so it looks a bit better on the eyes. But as you see, I'm just concentrating it here in the crease and on the outer part of the eye. This look is not about going dramatic for me. It's just about getting that peach on the eyes, peach on the cheeks, peach on the lips. I think it looks really cohesive. Then I'm going in with just a touch of Makeup Geek's Bitten, and that is like a burgundy. I'm going to use that same brush, and all I'm going to do is dot it right where I want the deepest color. There we go. Right on the, the very darkest part of the outer V that I want. And then I'm going to put this brush aside. And if you go overboard, you can just take this brush, wipe it off on a towel, and go back in with Mango Tango right on top of it. And that'll bring back the peachy color and cover up some of the burgundy. Okay, so setting this brush aside, I'm going back in with the NYX blending brush. Right now it looks a little crazy like orange, but with some blending, I swear it'll look beautiful. Concentrating on blending the edges. You can always touch up that lid shade as needed if you lost a little bit of it during the blending process. Then I need a brow bone shade and an inner corner of the eye shade. 
For the inner corner of the eye, I'm going to be using a Makeup Geek Duochrome shadow. This is in Voltage, and it's like a white, but with a slight, the golden undertone. It's really pretty. For that, I'm using one of the e.l.f. $1 brushes. This is the e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush. I don't even know if they still have this. They've had it for years, but it's just a tiny tip brush. I'm going to put that right here on the inner tear duct area. And then I, it is a bit powerful, so I blend it out with my finger. Just to make sure it's not too... Brow bone, I'm using this ColourPop shadow. This is a Super Shock shadow pearlized in the shade Girly. And it's a pearly white. And just using that right under the highest part of the arch of the brow. And then outwards. I don't find that this shade picks up very much on a brush. These are better with your fingers as well, but that's why I'm using it with a brush is because I don't want the intense pearlized finish. I actually just want a more subtle highlight under the brow. For my lower lash line, I'm using the L'Oreal Slipkissime liner. This is in highlighter, so it's kind of like a nude, a nudie peach, and I'm gonna be using that on the lower waterline area. Eyeliner for a monochromatic look, you could skip eyeliner altogether and do just mascara. You could do brown, black, even burgundy or purple or whatever you want to do. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Mineral Eyeliner. This is in the shade Coffee, so it's just a dark brown. But I'm only going to do a very thin line, basically just in the lashes. I'm not even going to extend it above. Do you see the difference? This eye has it, this eye doesn't. It's a very subtle line smaller, the thinner you make your liner, um, the longer your lashes look, in my opinion. So I like doing thicker liner sometimes, and especially if I'm wearing false lashes, I always do a thicker liner because that helps hide the lash band. But when I want it to be all about the lash, my natural lashes, I will try to do a thinner line. So that's it for liner. That is all I'm going to do. You could also take the peach and put it on the lower lash line. I just don't want to look like I've been crying. Then just use your favorite drugstore mascara. Alright, so this is my monochromatic peach look. I think it is very pretty for daytime. I think you can pull the same look off with um, a nudie kind of brown or even like a rosy pink or a, an orchid purple, lilac, lavender. Um, burgundies. I think that um, you could pull this look off with plum. It'd be awesome. So just a shimmery shade on the lid and using that color in the outer V goes a long way. Um, I didn't do a dramatic color in the crease, like a dark cut crease or anything, but I think it's just perfect for daytime. Like if you're going to work, yes, the lid shade has shimmer, but it's not inappropriate. You know, it's like a wearable kind of look. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.